All right, guys. So this is Horde Rush, and it's really very, very, very easy to actually win this. And uh, there's a few ways. There's one way that's just to skip out on the fight. That's one way. Another way is to fight them, but not actually fight the zombies. Just go ahead and destroy everything else. We'll show you both ways. Alright, so once you actually start, this is what you have to kill. Not the zombies, but take this down. And that's when you get all the good stuff anyways. So that's what you're going to go after. Now Alex is going to take care of most of them. So we do have the torrent. If you don't have the torrent, just use explosives. What you also want to do is save your bullets. I would not waste them. Because you need them for the boss. And the boss you want to build up and then just shoot him. Then you'll win this really easy too. So just don't waste your bullets such as any bullets that are for spamming weapons. Such as minigun. Uh, shotgun, you can use that all you want. Because that, that would be useless to use against the boss. Now as I said, you don't need a torrent. You just need explosives or this radio right here. To take this down really fast. Zombies will actually attack the radio first, but that takes down these things so fast. So here we go. I do have explosives, so I'll show you that next. Let's go towards this guy now. They're taking care of that with the torrent. Let's just explode this one. Actually, the torrent will do the job too. But there you go. So that's round one. The easiest round to win anyways. Then what you want to do is just upgrade your weapons. And do not waste your bullets. You want those 500. So I'm not gonna use this until way later on. Now if you want to skip out on the fight, you can just rift your way out. So if you do find a rift, and then just go. Go into storm. Don't worry about it. You will not die. Just go right into the end. And that way you don't have to waste your bullets on zombies. Now, obviously you might want to fight some zombies to gain some stuff, but... Most of you on this run will just be wasting bullets more than actually gaining. So that's why it's good to just go to the end circle, skip out on the, all the fight basically. Uh, you want to go into the middle. Just get some bandages from here, splash so you can help your team out. And just stay close towards each other, so if any of you have splashes, you can actually go ahead and heal each other. And here's a fire pit, we can also start that up. So as round 2 approaches, what you want to do is gain up your explosives once again. You can find a torrent, awesome. But you just want explosives for anything... That you have to stay put and fight zombies. Plus, also gain a lot of material because you're going to need that for the end round. So as mentioned, just use your explosives. And the other thing that I would actually use this for is for this dude. It's the only guy that's actually worth it wasting your bullets on. You can get some pretty good loot out of that. You should. Whoa. I got low. And something else you can do is just build up to this. And then zombies can't get you up here. And just destroy this without any problems. You can't always do this though. It doesn't let you. Not all the time. Now technically you only need two weapons for the boss, technically. Spamming one, and then if you have a rocket launcher, you're set to go. Or else an AR will do just fine. And like I said, you can skip out on the fight, or you can run with it. The only reason I'm running for it, because I need materials, so... I'm not gonna really waste my bullets, I can't really save a gun to just kill the zombies. I'm just gonna go with my pickaxe, unless I really need to kill them. I'll use my rock launcher. Okay. 
Which, uh, you can also pickaxe zombies. They'll die right away anyways. At least these little guys. There's a rift here, guys, by the way. If you want to skip out to the end, but I don't have any heals, so I'm not going to do that. 15 seconds to go. And we're going off to the next round. And this would be the final round. So anytime you see this, that means it's going to be the final round. That's where you have to start building. I'm going to get all the mats that I can. And here we go, final round. It's good I didn't waste any of my ammo. Because that would have been useless. Let me take this down so some don't get up here. And we need to start building. Now you don't want to stay at the building where you start your building. Because that's where he's going to go for. You want to stay in the air. And you don't want to build too high, but just high enough, just in case he knocks you down. You're gonna be okay, you won't die right away at least. So here we go, boss time. I do want to connect this up somewhere, so I'm gonna put this down here. Just in case he goes for me, I'll just fall there. A little too far away. I'm gonna get closer than that. Let's use this. Let's run away a little bit. And you don't wanna focus on any zombies, you just wanna take down the boss. Maybe an easy, easy win. Appears like that's not a good thing. Okay, can't see him, so I'm gonna have to build this way. Doesn't seem like he's damaging my structures at all, so that's good. That means we built high enough, but not too high. And not too low where he actually does some damage. And that was that. So that's how to defeat Horde Rush the easy way.